Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last here in Los Angeles with Mr. Harley Hodgetts. How are you, mate? Correct. All good, mate. Yourself? Very well, very well. How can I not be good? I'm in LA and it's fight week. Um, yeah, here to support Mikey, um, one of Mikey's best friends. Um, we'll talk about sort of you and Mikey and how far you go back in a bit, but just first things first, a um, little bit of a nightmare week, isn't it? We expected Mikey to fight Virgil Ortiz in what would have been the biggest night of his career. Um, it's not the case. No, it's been a nightmare, mate. Um, we found out actually 24 hours before we flew. So I couldn't imagine what it's been like for Mikey. Um, absolute nightmare. Luckily enough, he still managed to get on the show, which is the main thing. And he's going to go out and then he's going to do the job tomorrow night. Like I said, you're one of Mikey's best friends. Um, just sort of talk to me about how you know Mikey. Was this a boxing yeah. thing or from before boxing? Or um, I've actually first met him in the gym, um, going back in Portsmouth years ago. And uh, since then, obviously, we've built a friendship and it's gone on. It's amazing. Um, Watching him grow from like 12, 13 year olds all the way through now to a co-main event. Obviously, he wasn't meant to be in the main event all the way through in LA. It's a bit, little bit surreal still. So actually, I believe how far he's come, but he's always been a little bit better than everybody else in the gym. So the cream always rises to the top. Yeah, I was literally going to ask, could you tell or sort of when around that teenage years, was there a point where you could tell and everyone just went, yeah, this kid's yeah. quite good yeah, actually. In, in, the, in, the, in the, um, all the south, southern region and in the, he was always one step ahead of everyone else, always. So you could always tell from an early age, inspiring. Nobody wanted to spar him in the gym. So yeah, it's good. Um, I'll take it you've done a lot of rounds of him, of must have. Yeah. yeah, I took a lot of hardens. <laughs> now, that's what people don't um, respect his power. But I can tell you now, he, he, he digs enough to, to get your respect. Yeah, I was going to say, people look at the knockouts, and what is it, two knockouts in 21 yeah. wins, but if you actually look, he's dropped quite a lot of his yeah, opponents. No, so no. And from being in there with him, you can say that he can punch. He can punch. Yeah. And I, I read... Um, on a lot of the forums, all the, all the people from the States were like, two knockouts in, in our 21 fights. Ortiz is going to walk through him. But like I said, if you actually look through his resume, he's dropped a lot of people. So if that was the case, all the people would have just walked through him, wouldn't they? So no, he, he definitely can punch. Um, obviously, look, you're going to be biased, um, as are we as well, Team MTK, Team McKinson. Um, but why is he in the right place now to fight all these big guys? And is he one of, if not the best welterweight in the world, in your opinion. I know people will say, look, it's a big statement, but I'm not being funny, he's coming over or was coming over to fight one of the most well-respected young fighters in the world. Why is now the right time? And is he capable of being one of the best fighters in the world? Of course you can. He, he's paid his dues. He's gone on all the small hall shows. He's never had, never had an easy ride. So that's, that's why he deserves it the most. Out of like all the other, you see all the other welterweights all come through on the big shows. He's done it the hard way. For all the small hall shows, he's, he's, worked, he's been in the away corner loads of times. So he definitely deserves to be here and he will go on to do good things in this division, 100%. We're looking forward to seeing um, Mikey on, on Saturday. And there's kind of a storyline now. Um, yeah. You've got that Blair Cobbs being nice and loud yeah, yeah. earlier. Um, he's fighting Alexis Rocha. So it looks like Mikey is going to be back, be it Virgil Ortiz or not, if he moves up, I don't know. Um, but it looks like we will see Mikey come back and, and, and crack America. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's all, it's all good for his profile. So obviously since um, Virgil dropped out, he's been getting called out by all, all the Yanks. So... It's definitely, definitely going to be good to be, come back, be coming back out here as well to support him. Are you going to look for a slot on the undercard next time? Oh, mate. That's what I'd be doing if I was you. I'd be, no, I'd be nudging him going, Mikey, come on. Have to. I think me and Lucas, his brother, have both been saying it, but obviously he has no control over that, but it would be good. Even my dad says it. My dad takes me going, oh, can't you go, go and meet Osby quick and uh, get me on the undercard? But no, nah, it would be good. If only it was that easy. Yeah, just yeah, pop, yeah, just yeah, pop yeah. into yeah. Delahoy's office. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about your professional career. Yeah. Um, you're 3-0 at the moment. I was looking at your career yesterday, actually, when Mikey was telling me about you. And um, you made your debut in Italy. Yeah, I know a lot of fighters, your first two in Italy, I know a lot of fighters during the pandemic sort of seeked them opportunities yeah. out in um, some of the foreign shows, Italy, Belgium and whatnot. But um, did you sort of want to tell us about um, your, your pro career so far, albeit quite short? Yeah, yeah I'm 3-0 now. I um, had my first two in Italy during COVID. Um, and then I had my third fight in Portsmouth, back in my hometown. It's like having my debut again. Um, just in the... Uh, proceeds of uh, getting uh, my license sorted out again and then hopefully uh, I'll be back out early summer ready to have as many fights between now and the end of the year. Yeah, is that what this year is about for you? Just try and knuckle down as many yeah. fights and then I suppose next year you yeah. can look at trying sort of to climb rankings and yeah. it's all about building the regime and it? it's step by step goal by goal just keep improving at the moment and uh, who knows where it can go hopefully all the way. Yeah. Hopefully you hopefully. and Mikey sharing. <laughs> yeah, um, in terms of those shows, I want to talk about them quickly because um, like a lot of people, a lot of boxing fans wouldn't have seen much from them shows. Just kind of what are they like? Because 
You see these, um, I think some of them are outside as yeah. well. Um, just sort of what are them shows like from a, from a fighter's perspective? They're crazy. It's an amazing experience. My, my second one was actually looking like an outdoor arena behind a massive cathedral. And it's the, the experience to actually get on one, it's just actually amazing. Like, just, it's completely different to what it is in England. But yeah, I'll definitely, if you can go and do it just for the experience, it's definitely worth doing, 100%. And um, goals, what are we looking to achieve in the career? Are you one of them, shoot for the stars and, and see what yeah, happens? Or have you got it. sort of more realistic aims and goals? Well, or? Of course, you've got your own, your own realistic goals, but you can, never, you can never put a limit on how far you can go. Of course, in, my, in the back of my head, you know kind of where you can go. But if you keep winning, you, why, why not try and go all the way? Any specific belt or something you want to achieve, or maybe somewhere you want to fight, yeah. sort of any bucket list things? I'd be happy just to win any title, to yeah. be fair, because I've had, I had a long time out of the ring, so it's just like getting back into the motion now. But um, yeah, any, any sort of title, tell the grandkids, tell the son, you know what I mean? This is what your old man done, so yeah, any, anything to do with that, that'd be great. This is what your old man done, yeah. don't mess me about because I'll give you a hiding. <laughs> yeah. um, Harley, thanks for giving me some no, of your time. I'm um, looking forward to fight night tomorrow and uh, yeah, Team Pompey. No worries, yeah, I can't wait myself, mate, just to get it all done now. Hopefully, he gets the win. I'm sure he will.